So this video is going to cover um, how to find arc length or height, how to find the area of a sector here. So essentially what we're looking at is we're kind of looking at a circular shape, right? And we have almost a piece of that shape taken out, you know, kind of it almost looks like maybe think about a pie, think about a uh, pizza with a couple of pieces of it actually missing. So what we could actually be doing here is we could either be solving for the length of the circular part that is missing. So when it comes to a circle, uh, the outside of it, typically the perimeter is known as the circumference. So here we would only be looking for a piece of that circumference, so only part of the distance. Or we could be looking for the area of that missing slice, essentially. So what area is removed from it? So there's those are the two things that you typically do when it comes to this type of problem here. So I have the formulas for both scenarios already on the board. So there's a formula for arc length and then there's a formula for the area. So I already have a problem set up over here as well. We have that the angle is going to equal to 40 degrees and that the radius is 30 centimeters. Now we're going to find the arc length and we're going to find the area using the given information that we have here. One important piece that we do need to keep in mind when working this kind of problem here is as far as these formulas are concerned, notice that we have this A in our formula here. A is the angle, but the angle is given in radius. So if you are given an example, like the one that we have here, where your angle is given in degrees, we're going to have to convert that first. So let's first figure out the arc length here. So again, we're looking for this distance here, this circular distance. All right, so the formula says that um, that, that length here uh, is going to equal to R times a, so the radius times that angle in radians. So the radius is already given to us. The radians is 30 centimeters, so that's the easy part to plug into it. Um, a, we cannot just plug in 40, so this A has to be in radians. Ours was given, us to, uh, given to us in degrees. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take our little conversion to go from radians to degrees. And the way that you do that is you take the degrees, so ours is 40 degrees, and you're going to multiply that by pi over 180. And once we calculate this, this is going to be our angle in radians. So if we go ahead and calculate this and do 40 times pi divided by 180, I am getting a decimal of 0 0.6981. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. It keeps going a little bit, but I'll go ahead and round this to four decimal places here. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in over here. So that's 30 times 0 0.6981. And when we calculate that together, so times 30, um, I am getting a distance of 20.94 here. Um, depending on where you grab this problem from or the instructions, they might want you to round to a specific number here or specific place value here. Um, if you're rounding with significant digits in mind, we do got to keep in mind that our problem was given to us with two significant digits. And if that's the case, then we would have to round this up to 21 centimeters. Um, but then again, you could possibly round it to the tenths, to the hundredths, just depending on what your problem specifically asks for. Um, for us, I'm going to keep this with significant digits in mind, so I'm going to round this to 21 centimeters here. So that just tells me that this length over here on the outside of this circle for this little piece that we have here is 21 centimeters long. Okay, so then let's move over and let's work on the area. So here's our formula, one half r squared times a. So we have one half times r squared. So our r is 30 centimeters. So we're going to square that and we're going to multiply it by our a. And once again, our a needs to be in radians. So again, if we do 40 times pi divided by 180, it's going to be that 0.6981 number that we had before. 
Okay, so make sure that you plug in everything correctly. Now we can go ahead and calculate this together. And if we're calculating this with uh, order of operations in mind, you do need to take care of your exponents before you do anything else. So we would do 30 squared, which is 30 times 30, which is 900. All right, drop everything else down. And then this is pretty much just multiplication here. So 1 half times 900, well, half of 900 is 450. And then we're going to take that 450 and we're going to multiply it times that 0.6981. And I am getting 314.145. Five. And because we're talking about area, remember the area always has units squared, so this would be centimeters squared. And then a, a, again, just keep in mind, you know, where specifically you're needing to round depending on instructions for your particular problem. But otherwise, that's how you find the arc length and the area of a sector here.